guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to learn this classic Super Tramp song. Also, real quick, if you haven't yet, I'd really appreciate you subscribing right here to Marty Music and clicking that bell notification. It really helps me out. Also, uh, I've got some free courses at my website. Uh, you can check out the links in the first comment down there. And I really appreciate that. All right, let's do it. So we start with uh, an A7 to a D. And when the song starts, I mean, the normal rhythm, da 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 But for that first one, you just... You know, you just imagine it's there, but it's not. So A7 to D. A7 D, A7 to D, and then a G to A major, not A7. And then again, G, A, back, G, D, G, D, A7, D, G, A, G, A. Seven D G A G A G B minor. So B minor, classic bar chord, A minor shape, barred on the second fret. B minor, E sus four to E. So think of an E major chord, but you start it with the pinky also down on the second fret of that G string. And then it releases. So that's E sus4, E major. So B minor, E sus, E, G. And then this is going to come in later in the song too, um, but it's something I've taught for years now called the land of a7 and it's this little extension up the a7 scale you know i don't want to get too deep into theory but basically you have this a7 thing that climbs all the way up the neck and it's quite fun to actually see the whole thing in, in a in a classic song um, but basically you have fourth fret d and third fret b and you let, starting on the open A string, you let them all ring out. So watch this. B minor, E sus, E, G. So it's that ex first extension of A7. To A7, then that extension again, up to that extension of A7, which is... Um, just the exact same as the A7 shape, but slid up. So 5th fret D, 5th fret B. You let the other strings ring out. So that change. Uh, B minor. E sus to E. G major. Extension A7. Extension up and then the top D. A7 D. A, G, A, G, D, A7, D, G, A, G, A, the change, B minor, B minor, E sus, E, G major, extension to A7, extension of, so that's the like bulk of the song. Now we get into some of the instrumental sections and some of the other uh, kind of extended parts of the song. But so that's kind of like 
part A. All right, so this is basically what we'll call the bridge section. It's going to be an F sharp minor chord to a B minor chord. So, bum, 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 da, 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 bum, 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 B minor, ba, ba, back to F sharp minor, but then G, C, G, A7. And now the A7 that we're at is going to go up the land of A7. So the land of A7, it's just two shapes, and you climb up the neck with the open A and all the rest of the open strings down from there. So you have the A7 shape, and then you have that shape. So it's so middle finger on that four, index on the three of the B. Then the first shape again, a half step up. Then that shape up a whole step. Then the other shape. And then that same shape up a whole step. And then a half step with the other shape, alternate shape. And then up a whole step from there. So listen to that. And sax is playing over that. Mixolydian scale, by the way. goes all the way up and then on the repeat it only makes it about halfway here da, 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 da. so up to the seventh fret back to the main part of the song right to this part, but it's gonna do a little something different at the end of it. So this is the same, E sus, G, but now, C, G, A7, land of A7 variation. Just up to that seven of that and then and then finally a final jangly section I'm just gonna say the final jangly it's the final jangly you get what I'm saying so let's get that all right so we're gonna take a D chord and then that same shape moved up we still have the open D with it and also, real quick, it's a 12-string uh, on the original recording, so that's part of the that harmonic, jangly stuff that you're hearing. But we got D. And then up to where that middle finger would be on the seventh fret of that shape, same shape. And then this shape, which is five, five, six, so it's like from a A major triad, but we can still have the open D. And then that down a whole step to a D. So we put that together. And so then I'm playing a uh, like a C over D. I don't know if this is the exact voicing they're using, but I think it sounds pretty cool. And it's definitely the chord. Um, but, you know, we're playing it without a band, so I think this is uh, effective. So it's that open D, uh, fifth fret, fifth fret, open high E. And then a G to D. So it repeats that, and then eventually it just does the second half. So it then goes to that section. Then it has one little denouement, a little, little, a little ending. So let's check that out. So when you get to that final C, instead of that, play a regular C, C, 
Walk down A, open A, three, two, O, D, then this part. And then that final D up an octave, where that middle finger would be on the 14th fret of the high E. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again. Feel free to request stuff in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you liking and subscribing right here to Marty Music. Uh, take care. Hope to see you again.